Ugh. Hello friends, just wanna make a happy video. <laughs> After so long using um, this Nikon 85 millimeter 1.8 lens for all my portraits, I've finally found another lens that I'm like, oh my God, might it actually replace the mighty 85 millimeter? This is, this is perfect. I love this lens. It's just like, it's so awesome. Sometimes it might be a bit too zoomed in, a bit, bit annoying. So I was sort of, sort of looking around, you know, oh, what about, do I dare go into the world of zooms and all this kind of stuff? Anyway, I bought some and no, it's not the norm. It's not the latest and greatest and it's not freaking expensive at all. If you want expensive new lenses, you're looking at the wrong guy. Okay, I only do cheap, okay? This one, it's a Nikon 35 to 70 millimeter 2.8. This is the first version. You know the classic, the, every camera brand's got it. They've got the classic 24 to 70 mil 2.8. That's like their pro level freaking, you know, you know, that's just, you know, that's just the standard professional level, does everything almost. You know, every pro's got one, that sort of a thing. Well, this one came out in the 80s, and before they had the 24 to 70, they had the, the classic 35 to 70. And boy, is this awesome, both in price and in quality. It is absolutely terrific, and I've just been like playing around with this on my, my camera, and it's just, it's gorgeous. The bokeh is fantastic. Like it's just this gorgeousness that I'm like, oh, you know, and the ability to just have a little bit of a zoom, you know, sort of a dodgy zoom range, 35 to 70 mil, you know, but hey, it's a bit more convenient than only 85, can't zoom out at all. So I took some photos of my cat and I'm just like, oh, dude, you are a stunner. You are a stunner. And I was using my little custom black and white, um, what is it? profile picture thing that I made for my Nikon. It only works on Nikons, but there's a download thing in the link description thing if you want a copy of it. And uh, it's, it's, I just put this lens on it, put that picture profile, the black and white hardcore. I wanted the closest thing to try and just get something that was like black and white film, but not just any black and white film, like crusty, dirty, dodgy black and white film so that I could just shoot JPEGs and not edit my photos at all, which would be the dream. Um, but yeah, I mean, I took these shots and I was just like, oh my God, look at that cat. Look at that furball, you are a master. Anyway, the only thing I don't love about this one was that, um, yeah, the guy who sold it to me, I, I, got, I got it for a bargain, 150 Australian dollars, which is about $2.50 American, about 40p in the UK. Um, but uh, unfortunately this one was like, it went through the washing machine or something. And uh, the glass is super clear, but the autofocus is f***ed. Like it's just like, it takes, it's like, it's like freaking brain dead, this sort of a thing. So that's annoying. I'm gonna try and get it repaired or maybe try and find another one and buy it. Cause it visually, it's amazing. It is the best. It is the perfect medium between sharpness, but not like, video sharpness it's got this it's got this filmic soft sharpness it's like soft and sharp at the same time it looks like film and so then you slap my black and white thing on it and it's just like oh it's like oh it's amazing oh. anyway this is a little just a little hello so i'm going to be taking some more portraits with this baby it is awesome 150 bucks screw yourself big ass brand name camera newbie mother you know, just the old stuff. That people think that just because it's new, it means it's better than the old stuff. No, remember, remember people in the 80s were taking professional photos. People in the 60s were taking professional photos. In World War II, they were taking professional photos. I don't know why, you know, and, and what's, what's the dealio? Those photos are classics, they're amazing. You know, what's to criticize about them? So, look for old stuff. Try out old stuff, and, sp and particularly for portraits, it's like you don't need sharpness. You don't need sharpness. You, you should try some 
fucked up lenses on your freaking portraits. Because for portraits, you know, you want to you wanna communicate the character of someone, the personality, which is not always so black and white and sort of like the visual style of having a bit of blur, a bit of, oh, it's not so perfect, like we all are, we're not so perfect. It's sort of like, it's beautiful in that way. So if you're doing portraits, try some old lenses, all right? Get some old lenses, even if they're not autofocus, even if they're just manual focus. You know, you can buy $20 adapters to just fit any brand onto any other brand almost. So just try some old things, all right? Like one of the best lenses I bought in my life was 20 bucks in a, in a, in a pawn shop. That's what you call it in America, right? In a second hand shop we call it in Australia. We don't use rude words here. Um, and that's been with me forever. And that is the beautifulest little manual lens. I don't have it right here, but yeah, but yeah. So when it comes to portraits, f around, have some fun, try any old lens because you don't know how it's gonna look, all right? It's not about perfection with portraits, it's about character, it's about human beings, and us as human beings are a bit messy sometimes, so get with it.